Hello friends, Fish Tank here. Welcome again. And today we're gonna to discuss about my uh, predator fishes, which are they are very aggressive. I think you uh, know about them uh, before, but uh, this is will gonna uh, very interesting topic because uh, uh, lots of people uh, uh, having a curiosity about that uh, fish, uh, which are haps. Uh, and I want to share some best uh, thing with you people. That's why I coming with that video. So stay tuned, my friends. Hey welcome friends fish tank here and I want to uh, share with you best thing with you people uh, you know my friends I having a mixed African cichlid tank Malawi tank and uh, there are you can see there are uh, sulfur head uh, he, uh, this one is also beautiful and very aggressive fish he is uh, uh, he's a guy one of the predator fishes he belongs to predator fishes but uh, all time he keep uh, keep uh, keeping uh, silence and uh, looking like a decent guy but uh, he is not actual as well as uh, lots of uh, thing you can see uh, the guys are showing uh, so much dominance uh, uh, like my embunas uh, but uh, embunas usually you know our friends embunas are too much aggressive but uh, now that video uh, we gonna thinking or we gonna discuss about uh, my predators you can see my first cortinus is there bottom of my tank as well you can see Vinastas is there the guys are too much aggressive and now they are uh, uh, around 12 inches or uh, 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 11 inches so i hope uh, that guys are uh, uh, getting a little bit more uh, aggressive than this because uh, they showing uh, uh, or they enhancing their beautiful color that mean is they showing dominance to others and they uh, said like uh, they are a tank boss so I want to tell you my friends lots of people uh, uh, getting confused about them how to keep them and lots of people uh, getting mistakes uh, about them and uh, keep them in your community but I want to recommending you my friends if you want to uh, keep like that uh, predators like Vinastas is there first Cotinius is there you can see this guy is tremendously beautiful and enhancing uh, his color uh, he looking very calm but actually he is not and uh, this guy is a very beautiful and aggressive one of the aggressive fish ever one of the aggressive cichlid ever uh, he is uh, also uh, belongs to eye biter family and they are a real predator and the uh, real nature is a uh, near uh, real nature of that fish is uh, uh, hunting so you can uh, keep remember uh, if you want to keep that that one this beautiful guy then uh, you need to big tank and then only you think uh, about to keep them in a community and I said community community about Malawi cichlids only community in a cichlids not other fishes because they guys are tremendously aggressive and showing dominance uh, I balancing them very easily because I have a bunch of uh, embunats and uh, the size of uh, size of uh, embunats are uh, equally that predator so uh, the balancing aggression is uh, very perfectly so you can see my other fishes my uh, yellow laps and my dragon bird also is a big guy uh, he is also 10 inches also my uh, Vinastas is a uh, beautiful and he mix up with uh, embunas and that's why my uh, uh, tank uh, tank balance uh, tank aggression is a uh, totally balanced you can see my red top zebra is uh, so much aggressive guy that's why uh, other aggressive fishes uh, uh, giving respect to him as well uh, taking respect from him so uh, you can see my uh, sulfur is showing dominance to my uh, Kenny cichlid my Kenny male you can see uh, that thing is uh, normally happening in a cichlid tank and uh, that this is a very beautiful thing to uh, see because that kind of things happening in the nature uh, so um, I want to recommending only if you're having a bigger tank and a, a same size uh, cichlids if you're having then you uh, you need to you should be thinking about uh, that kind of predators like uh, sulfur head electric blues blue is there these guys are showing too much uh, color enhancing uh, and uh, i i love that guy especially you can see my fusco tenius is there and uh, he also showing some dominance and uh, going between them and see what happening exact exactly there and the guys are too much aggressive and I, I think uh, you can see and you having a question about that uh, how they uh, they are looking so calm I only tell you my friends uh, I having a lots of bamboo 
Puna, point top M Puna uh, with the same size. That's why my tank aggression is a totally balanced. That's why you can see uh, not uh, any kind of a mess, uh, mess up uh, in my tank. So please don't get confused about that. I am recommending you again and again. If you are having a bigger tank, then and then only you need to keep them. Uh, you can see my winner stage is looking beautiful. I'm not saying they guys are bad guys, but please if you want to uh, keep them then please uh, keep them separate in a bigger tank with a proper setup proper food all those things so you can see that kind of uh, uh, angle i uh, shoot with the right angle of my tank and how my tank is looking beautiful uh, my embunas uh, my embunas also enhancing their yellow color they looking so much beautiful i uh, having a tank uh, uh, with uh, blue uh, uh, blue and yellow uh, shade uh, shade uh, uh, cichlid so uh, I love that one specially my all haps and peacock looking beautiful my uh, electric view is there you can see and my uh, leopard uh, my my leopard uh, pleco is there you can see he is uh, he is around 1 feet and uh, you can see their fin is uh, a little bit uh, little bit uh, harmed by uh, monas because uh, and he know about them and he uh, uh, he know and he used to be uh, uh, survive with them because he knows he uh, he's in my tank uh, uh, around since uh, three years that's why i uh, keep him as it is because i know uh, he can survive better and he can defense them easily you can see my dragon blood is there is uh, beautifully uh, beautifully uh, set with them and most important and curious thing is my dollars are uh, very 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 beautiful and i appreciate my dollars because they're living in a uh, in a between the bundle of aggression and they can easily defend them and they are too much the fastest fastest swimmer ever i ever seen and they can easily defense them that's why i appreciate my dollars they they also uh, i having uh, i having dollars also since three years and i appreciate that fish uh, that only fish i i recommending you you can uh, experiment with the, those guys because they are too much a fastest swimmer and they are beautiful fish ever and they easily match up with my uh, cichlid tanks that's why i appreciate and i love that fish also this is a dollar so i hope my friends you enjoy my video thanks for connecting stay happy save the animals and nature